Hey everybody, Coffee and Chaos here, and welcome back to Captain of Industry. So, when we last left off, we were sort of getting to a point where we are slowly working our way out of our crisis mode. We're not out of the woods yet, we've got a couple little things that we need to clean up before we can really start to advance later on, but we did get our coal production really moving. Um, we've got more than enough vehicles to help move from there to our storage, from our storage to other storages leading into our various smelters, as well as over to our oil production area. Now, one thing that we are seeing right off the bat, and I want to go ahead and point this out, we see at the top right here, we do not have enough maintenance one. Why do we not have enough maintenance one? Well, that's because, uh, oh, interestingly, I'm just now realizing this. I have two electronics manufacturers here. And then I'm also manufacturing electronics that's going here for our maintenance. Ooh. And I was just thinking I would like to do this in a slightly more efficient manner. And uh, I think I'm going to be doing that this episode. Um, so, speaking of... Rather than having all of our copper plates being moved over here in order to then go to the um, assemblies for our electronics, it's four copper plates and one rubber to make four electronics. So since our copper is here and the electronics are the only thing that our copper is being used for right now, why don't we have it over here? So um, I think that's a pretty good question and I think that we should answer that right here right now um also i do want to kind of retool this we have these two assemblers for our mechanical parts but i would like to utilize um let's see what is it these balancers here i want to change how we are moving these around through balancers in order to ensure that we actually are distributing these in a smarter way so actually having a balancer here where you have one leading off to here one leading off to there and the rest leading off to storages i think that that would make a little bit more sense and help to get us a little bit more throughput without a whole lot of effort and i'm going to try and utilize that here as well and uh just make the most of all of our materials so how do we want to go about this let's go ahead and copy you because we know we have this assembly that's going to need to be used for this. Um, oh, speaking of... Ooh, you're a little low on water, aren't you? Um, can I tell you... Yeah, let's just try and keep that full, and we'll see if we can draw water from somewhere else in our system. I don't know where, but surely we have a little extra water being stored somewhere. And you know... That's another thing that we should try and optimize, having some more water storage here on this system. We've got our pipe twos. Yeah, lots of optimization that we can do just to set ourselves up for success. So let's not get too distracted, though. First things first. We want to have several of these making our electronics. So we're currently making 19.5 per minute. 4, 8, 12, 16. So that would be enough to utilize most of what we have just from this line. If we go to upgrade this to um, electronic assembly, we could have a second um, copper electrolysis and a second smelter going and, you know, move on from there as we need to. Um, let's see. I'm going to cut you guys. I feel like just having these side by side is going to be the best bet. Um, I'm thinking that we'll just kind of do these here. And what if we have... Let's do a storage. We want to have some kind of storage bringing our rubber in. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and put that right here. I'll just line up with the building that we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. Let's do five tiles. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, right there. So let's see how that lines up. And then you... You know, for right now, I might not need the more advanced balancing setup. Maybe I just kind of go with something very simple. 
just know I have a balancing setup in mind for when we have higher throughput. I'm I'm realizing now it's not necessary here since we already have um I think what is it? These belts can hold 60 per second and we're only making 19.5, so really one belt is enough to handle three of these lines on its own. No no problem. Um, later on, though, if we do end up having all four of these and they're more efficient and we need more throughput, we can double up on how many belts we have in order to move all of our product. So, yeah, I actually feel pretty good about that. Um, that's going to be our rubber coming in, leading into all four of these. And then we could have a unit storage. Um, and again, I think we can just go ahead and combine these. Uh, I'm just going to put our storage right about here. And let's get our belt, flat conveyor going up to here, over, over, and over. So that should be everything we need to get. These are the completed copper plates going into our assemblies, going as well as the unit storage in there, and yeah. And make sure that that is set to electronics. That should be everything we need, and I will at the same time delete those. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Um, hopefully that's not too preemptive, but honestly, it's not flowing right now anyway, so I don't see a reason not to. We'll leave this here. I'm going to tell that that we want to keep it full. And same thing with this. I want to keep this full. Um, well, to an extent, I want to keep at least 90 here. Make sure that we have enough to keep these going. And we'll just let our vehicles run. Let's see if we can get this completed, because I'd like to make sure that we get our electronics over here. Was there anything in there? No, we had no electronics anywhere on the island. Um, in fact, if I take a look, do we have anything anywhere? 207. Where are they all hidden? Oh. <laughs> I found 159 there, and I think the rest might be mixed up in here. Yeah, okay. We found the electronics. All right, cool. Getting all of this taken apart, that's actually working in our favor because now we'll have plenty of parts to get all of this done. All of the assemblers have been created. Belts are on the way. Nice thing is we had all that extra rubber sitting in there that has to be offloaded, so the rubber is definitely needed for all of the flat conveyors. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to go ahead and quick deliver this. Because I want to get these plates flowing. And let's go ahead and quick deliver that as well. Get this first one running. If we weren't in such a rush to get our maintenance back up and running, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But we need to get it on the move. Let's see if we can get that out of here. Alright, first parts are on the way. You need your rubber. Let's go ahead and get that done. Get those parts delivered. Get those parts delivered. Oh, did I pause that? Didn't mean to do that. And quick deliver there. I could have just hit Unity and done that. I guess I could have just hit Unity button and just, you know, click and drag, but oh well. In any case, they are all producing. You see the smoke rising. And there's our electronics ready to go. Perfect. Um, you have no jobs and you're loaded down, so I'll go ahead and empty you out with a little bit of Unity just to make sure that you can go off and do some other glorious work somewhere else. Do your thing, buddy. Do your thing. So there we go. Rubber coming in. And I'm going to tell that we want to keep it full. I'm going to say we want to keep this at least partway full, you know, in case we need to haul copper plates off somewhere else. I don't know where, but somewhere. Um, that's going to be the alternative. And now hopefully we should start seeing... I'll tell you what, I'm going to make this priority one. You're going to be priority two. And you are going to be priority three. We'll just kind of organize it that way. Because you are necessary. Without maintenance, we can't do anything. Um, what's your problem? No place to dump products, huh? 
Oh. What the? Hang on a minute. Didn't mean to do that, first of all. Second, why don't I have any trucks moving this stuff? Are we not dumping things? So you guys want to offload here. You want to dump things. Um, Can I assign a truck here to get that in motion? Surely. I mean, the nice thing is we're gathering a lot of dirt here, and that's going to be a lot of useful um, pure material. So yeah, let's make that happen for sure. And it's going to create a lot of useful farmland. I am all about that. Farms are doing their thing. I feel like I might have gotten this a little too hemmed in the way I have, you know, only five or six tiles in between. Something I could probably do better. Actually, fun question. Oh. Those are only four tiles deep. Huh. You can move 200. You can pump 48. What does that come out to? Um, four groundwater pumps to one pipe two. So what if I centralize these a little bit more? Hang on a minute. Uh, you. We're going to go ahead and delete this. Speaking of optimization, here we go. We'll wait for a truck to come back and do that. Actually, we've got so much Unity. Through the power of Unity, I demand you go away. Um, let's turn this. And we're going to go one, two, three, and four. The only thing is that's going to take a lot of power. So we'll take those two away, and that'll cover these two. So that's going to be 240, but there's going to be another 240 kilowatts that we need to cover. Um, we do... Let's see. Let me just take a quick look at our techs right now. We're working on Cargo Depot now, and then we're getting our advanced diesel, which is definitely very necessary. But then after that, we are getting into our power generation. This will make our lives so much easier when it comes to actually providing enough power to work everything that we're doing. So, you know what? I think I'm going to be good with that, though, because you're generating 24 diesel. I think we have enough diesel that we can expand to a third diesel generator temporarily. Um, as soon as we get our better power, that's going to go away. But for right now, that will work. All right, let's call that good. Another thing that I might want to do while we have construction parts and while I know that I'm going to be redoing this area, it wouldn't hurt to have some temporary storage. Oh, hey, look, all of our trucks are dumping dirt over here. We are working to build ourselves out. How great would that be if we get our pier over here? Yeah, they're actually making killer progress. That's awesome. Do your thing, trucks. Do your thing. Oh, in fact, that's this dedicated truck. And he's he really is. He is doing his thing. He's going back and forth and slowly emptying this out. Um, these guys over here. What's the problem? No available destinations to be mined. Oh, well, yeah, let's fix that. I, uh... I believe in the last episode I told him I didn't want to mine the dirt anymore because I wanted to get back into doing the limestone. But I'll tell you what, while we're still clearing out trees, and while he's making killer progress on getting us all the dirt for that pier, I'm kind of doubling back on that. I think I do want you to go ahead and just keep mining all the dirt. Do your thing, man, because it is making a difference. Um, and you can actually see where he was clearing this area out earlier. 
So let's do this. Get that there. And I think that's pretty fair. A little bit of dirt right there. If he gets a little bit of the rock, that's fine. Just means that he's getting into his long-term job. That's totally okay with me. We're going to edit his area to cover all of that. Make sure that he can reach all of those. And we're going to wind him up and let him go. In fact, there he goes. Perfect. And is that just like a random-ass rock that he's going to... Oh, that really is... Oh! That's cool. So the actual stones that are left behind are rock that gets picked up. That's kind of cool and makes a lot of sense. Before, it was just part of the, uh, the cliff facing, but it's cool to see it actually integrated as part of the environment. Awesome. Making quick work of that area, flattening things out and dumping up and trying to actually create a nice little dock for us. I might even try... You know, maybe... This is a little... for that whole area. That's not too ambitious. But what if... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, hit F. That's four. I just want to make sure I have a nice, even... Yeah, that's actually four tiles all the way. What if we just do this? And then long term, I could try and shift our dumping pipe over... I don't know. Could I push it over here, maybe? Into this little reservoir? That might be a thing. I don't know. We'll see. We do have our third power generator. That's doing its thing. Ah, we have our four pumps. So, I want to go here. We're going to delete you. Um, we're going to delete you. And I'll tell you what. I just want to get rid of the crazy excess... Typing. I think we can severely simplify this. I think the single pipe off is just fine. I think this can just be upgraded. You can go... I want to get rid of this. And... You know what? This one can just be upgraded. Upgraded and rotated. Yeah, I think that actually simplifies a lot. Um, how are we doing? We've got 67 construction parts, too, so that works. It's doing its thing. Oops, don't click there. We have 22 electronics there. How are we doing on electronics here? We're almost full already. You are not quite as full. It's because you're priority, too. But that's okay. Eh, bricks are a little low. Sadly, they're just going to be that way. They are gaining water from these two, but it's just not quite enough. Um, if I take a look at water, yeah, I'd have to have brick production over this way, which honestly is a possibility. I could have just have my trucks draw stuff over. Since we're gaining so much dirt from this side, we could do something like that. I don't know. We'll consider that. All right. First things first, you need to go here. Um, actually... Let's do this and then hook you in. And then regular pipe is going to come from there over. And then pipe to there, there, and there. Pipe one leading off either direction. Pipe one leading off either direction. That should be enough to keep the water flowing. <laughs> Look at them trying to deliver water. 
which is actually fine. I actually don't mind that they're trying to deliver the water that way manually. If they have excess water to do something with, then they could do that. Um, what would be better is if I were to go ahead and make an overflow. Um, let's go to our storage. So let's just say we had that right there. And an extra little manifold there. You hold water. And your goal is to... Let's see. Will not be allowed to deliver, but they will be allowed to export. So any excess gets stored there. And then I do not want to allow trucks to pick up cargo in any of these locations. That's not what they're meant for. That's what this is meant for. Cool. That actually works out just fine for me. Um, what was, what else do we need to work on here? These are doing their thing. Um, in fact, I think everything's running super smooth there. In fact, if anything, I could probably get a little bit more throughput of copper, maybe. I mean, long term, it should be gaining about three copper or so per minute. And we are backlogged. I just need to make sure I keep an eye on this. Um... Yeah, it almost feels like it's slowly dropping. We'll come back to that repeatedly and make sure that this is getting a backlog, that we are producing enough electronics to keep things moving, keep this full, and hopefully get some overflow in here to keep creating our constructor parts too. Um, Cargo Depot has been researched. That's great. Uh, we don't necessarily have our location for our Cargo Depot yet, but I don't anticipate it taking that much longer until it actually happens. Just look at these guys go. They are doing the Lord's work with that. In fact, I think I'll even add a second truck. Keep things moving. Miners seem to be working out just fine. Um, in fact, they would work out even smoother as long as I have a second truck here to keep moving things because they're actually getting backed up. So let's even add a third truck. In fact, I think it's time for us to get a couple extra pickups here. How are things working on the iron front? Iron seems to be flowing pretty well. We're not seeing too much backup of slag. And we are seeing that we are full on iron plates. We even have a backlog here. Now, if I do expand this anymore, I will have to do a bit of a manifold design where I'm going to have to bring in a flat balancer and have a few of these kind of combined. Like, if I had four and four, I would need to have four on one belt, four on another belt, and have those two belts come in to the unit storage and then belts coming out to go everywhere else. Um, I think the storage itself does work to an extent like a balancer. If you have two belts coming out of it, don't quote me on that. Um, in fact, if you have any knowledge of that, please let me know in the comments so I can know if these function as a balancer themselves or if I need to have um, plates distributed multiple locations evenly if I need to utilize the flat balancer and have one coming out of each into the balancer itself and then distribute it after that. We'll, we'll learn, we'll learn. Um, what's our next step? Advanced Diesel is going to be the next thing. Honestly, I think we'll probably set up our Advanced Diesel before we even get our dock set up, which is going to involve deleting some of this. Um, very tempted. What I kind of want to do is add some fluid storages here like two or three fluid storages I'll tell you what let's actually we're just going to be patient we're going to hold off until advanced diesels here and then we'll sit away from that location we'll find a nice flat spot like say maybe here and we'll just kind of lay something out and then we can go ahead and cut and paste it over to this direction once we have a design that we like. Um, dirt still moving, still getting backed up, so I think that's actually a good thing, though. 
And we're also uh, continually getting dirt in here as well. Keeping bricks flowing. Good deal. So, split many different directions. Oh, and how are we doing over here with science products? Um, answer, not great. Again, we're running into a bit of an electronic shortage. Hmm. Oh, and we're running into a plate shortage. What's the... Oh. Well, hello. We have a slag problem here, and I can solve that by assigning a truck here. Well, now we know why that kept backing up. I completely missed that there was no slag. Or too much slag, I should say. Looks like our piping is done here. How are we looking? Full irrigation tanks all across the board. How awesome is that? These guys look like they're running just fine. And the water reserve status, we're currently at 95%. I would like to take a peek at this once it's raining to see if this is continually dropping. Um, it is possible to drain your water reserve. The water reserve in any of these basins um, does replenish when it's raining. But there is kind of a critical mass. If you drain too much, you can run out of water, and then you have no water with which to do any of the jobs that you need to get done. So bear that in mind. Make sure you don't forget that. We are picking up water to come over here to our water facility. Water facility does have some wastewater that needs to be taken. Um, I almost want to assign... Can I assign a truck to this? No, it looks like I can't. Interesting. I might need to consider actually just shifting water over this direction. Or wastewater this direction. Long term, it would be better if I had some kind of wastewater treatment and if I had some kind of desalination plant here something to consider. Oh, you know what? I've been completely neglecting moving our ship out. Let's go ahead and get our ship out on its next exploration. And let's take a peek at our captain's office for a minute here. Uh, I don't think we need to disable our population growth. I'm thrilled that we have as many workers as we have. I think we are probably going to need a little bit more. Um, let's see. Food consumption can go up. Food consumption goes down. So you can gain or lose unity based on that. Right now we're fine on unity. We don't need to worry about that. We don't need to evict people. Um, maintenance reducer might not hurt. Could save us electronics. Burn one unity for that. That's actually fine. Um, farm yield can increase. Don't really need to worry about that yet. I think we're doing just fine there. So, cool. I like having the new captain's office. Can we actually... Is that something you can make multiple of? No, you can't. Okay. So, if I end up wanting to move this somewhere because I was hasty putting that up, uh, I might need to delete it and bring it back somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be the end location for the captain's office, so we'll see what we can do. Oh, looks like our ship got into battle, so he'll be on his way back. I do wish that I had... A little bit more throughput of electronics. I might just assign one truck to this. Just make that their permanent job. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. How's the copper mine doing? Huh. Swimmingly. Just fine. They are getting pretty far into the mountain right now. That is a whole lot of copper that's just down in the dirt ready to go. Are we starting to see some backup here? Yes, we are actually starting to see a little bit of backup. So, that's good. Ocean access is blocked. Oh! So, we are seeing our trading dock is now blocked by our pier. So, we might need to move you at some point. 
ship is ready to go. Oh, wait, the ship? Hey, hey, you know what? In honor of our flagship from Anno 1800, I believe we will call this the Phoenix as well, since that's kind of become a uh, little tradition of ours. So, Phoenix is off on yet another adventure. Hopefully it finds us something good. So yeah, you're going to have to be shifted somewhere. Although at this point, I'm kind of willing to let it sit for right now. This Maybe I could shift it over on this side. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll find out. Um, I believe this used to come like all the way over here. So we've made some killer progress on this. That's awesome. Things seem to be going well in the iron mine as well. We have plenty of area marked out for this. At some point, I would like to go ahead and get our walls built and start digging in. You know, it might actually be time. Let's see if I can just get part of the foundation of our concrete set up. So, we know for sure. I think I've been procrastinating on it, because sometimes it's a bit of a pain to set up, but... It's time. Let's let's get it knocked out. So, long term, I know I want to have four of these. Um, that's going to be creating all of our concrete slabs. So, we know we can utilize all of our slag, crushed, or gravel. So it's your choice. Either one can be used, and you could have those on a mixed belt. Um, as well, you could also have the manufactured sand and standard sand on a mixed belt. So that would work as well. So basically, we're going to have two mixed belts, one with slag and gravel, one with sand and manufactured sand, and that's going to also require cement and water. So we got four inputs to make concrete. Um, if we go over to our metallurgy... So to get our cement, this is going to create three cement. These currently use 1.5, but long term, there will be a recipe that this is going to end up being one to one. It's going to utilize three cement to give us 24 concrete slabs. So we're going to want to plan for four of these. So I'm going to do that by reversing that and putting them side by side, just like so. Oops, let's cut that. Um, what other machines are we going to require? We know that we're going to need a crusher. So, um, how much do you need? Nine crushed slag. That's nine, nine is 18, 18, and 18 is 36. So I would need at least two of these for crushed slag. Oops. And potentially two... Um, or gravel. Unless, actually, oh, you know what? If I did a combined belt beforehand, what if I allow either? And then what I could do is a U-shaped balancer. Let's just see something really quick. I want to test this. Priority input. Oh, that's actually going to be the way. Fewer machines, but utilizing the priority balancer. Okay. Yeah, because that's going to be enough to get everything going, and we'll just prioritize our slag into crush slag. So that way we can burn off any additional slag from all of our smelting processes. So that's great. Yeah. Um, hmm. Where do I want to put this? That is the major question. You know what? Let's just get it. right here from the get-go. So we would have our limestone could come over. Uh, we're going to need 
our coal yet again. Um, how do I want to get my coal in here? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, what if I just put you there? That's not bad, honestly. Mm, yeah, we're just going to go for it. Um, okay, so I'm just going to leave the machines there for now. Long term, we will hook everything else up. Uh, so it's just going to be limestone coming straight in, coal coming straight in. Now, after that... There will be cement. Um, cement, we can go ahead and combine right about there. Uh, let me actually cut. No, that actually works out right there. Get that. Um, no, I don't like that. Go there and over. Okay, and let's go ahead and get a smokestack. Is it better to have a large smokestack? Well, it would be, except it, well, no, we've got uh, we've got some concrete blocks that we're not utilizing for anything else. So we could just go ahead and get ourselves a large smokestack, combine them all with uh, one pipe. How much do you produce? Nine, nine, eighteen, eighteen, eighteen is thirty-six. Um, actually, we could do this all with one smokestack. Oh, why are you utilizing a pipe, too? No, no, no. <laughs> Let's go ahead and specialize into just a regular pipe. We don't need to use anything more expensive than that. Thank you very much. Hmm. Uh, let's actually cut... Oh, you know what? It might not be able to make that connection. What if I actually just put you here, then? Get you connected there. Get you connected. Nope, that's not going to work, either. We are going to figure this out, damn it. Um, There we go. So I have to click there, then click there to get the connection. You made that connection, and you made that connection. There we go. Everything connected into one smokestack. All right, got it figured out. Um, all right, this is the next mess that's going to be a little bit more complicated because we have multiple inputs and outputs. So let's start, let's see, with you. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go six tiles. Bring you all the way back here. And we'll connect you. All right, got that. Um, okay. I do want to take one quick peek here. Show me a crusher. So quartz can be turned into sand, but gravel can be turned into manufactured sand. What if I did three of these? Create all of the slag crushed. Any gravel that I create from rocks, we can peel that aside using a U-shaped sorter. Potentially. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm not sure if this is going to sort the way I want it to. Um, let's start with this. Let's start with this. So, right there, two. Uh, 
Is that enough? Can I get you... No, I actually had that just right. Alright, put you in there, put you in there, put you in there. Okay, and same thing goes for this. Put you there, you there. And, oh, I need to... Need to connect there. That spacing was actually perfect. Okay. I will cut you. Just kind of, kind of clean that up just a little bit. Um, let's delete... Those... Cut this. And can I cut this down a little bit more? There we go. It's about as compact as that gets. Cool. Alright, that's a start. Now, we just need to figure out for our crushed rock. And how do I want to do this? Where do I want to do this? Um, I think I want to just go ahead and do it right alongside everything else. I might need to reconfigure how these are spaced out just to make life easier on myself. In fact, I think I want to go ahead and remove that product. Let's remove all of this. and keep this empty as well. I'm gonna reconfigure this to make sure that our limestone is here, our coal can be here that we can bring in from off-site, and then our dirt and um, rock can be in these, which honestly, we could keep the rock here. You can stay rock, you can become dirt. Yeah, that works. Um. Okay, before we unpause, I'm forgetting. Let's actually cut these. Slide them further over this way. So, one, two, three, four, five tiles should be just right. And I'm going to go ahead and get our U-shaped conveyors. One, two, three. And you can go there. Hmm. Uh, I was hoping I could actually get that. If I can do something like this. Nope, that didn't work either. There we go. Got it. The spacing is always the tricky part with that. And you can go there. All right, and I can cut that until I'm ready to have something connect up to it. Um, in fact, you know what I might even do? I might just come up there. And then if I can change the direction of that, basically it meets up here, and it can either go off to the right and down or off to the left and into either any of those three locations. So that works out pretty well. And copy that. And it will end up connecting there, but I don't want to do that just yet until all of the dirt is out of this. So worthwhile. We got that part figured out. 
next. Um, tell you what, I will go ahead and utilize the rock that is there to become gravel. Do I want to bring in extra gravel as well? That you to rock. Sorry if I'm quiet. I'm kind of like I'm puzzling this out. I'm kind of building in my head and trying to trying to elaborate the process as I go. Um, sometimes it's a struggle to do that for you guys. All right. So what if we did connect up like that? Rock into gravel. Do I want to have any kind of separation? I let's try and do let's try and work backwards from here with storage. All right, so we've got storage and storage. Um we know we're going to have sand and manufactured sand, right? Let's do that on top. Come on down here. Oops, I didn't realize you were in the way. That's my problem. Mm, you need to reverse. Put it in reverse, Terry. Okay, so we've got a nice little ramp coming up here. Let's say that I had some external sand that can be dropped off here. So you would hold traditional sand. Then we could also have manufactured sand. Um, let's get a balancer. U-shaped balancer can go right here. Can you hook up directly? Is there a reason that doesn't work? It's giving me a disconnect problem, so... And connect you there. And you will end up being manufactured sand. Uh, where are you? There we go. So between sand and manufactured sand, I think I would want to input priority here for the manufactured sand, right? Because if we're going to take any time to cut out manufactured sand, we want to make sure that we utilize that. Um... And then this would be any sand that gets mined on the rest of the island or brought in through any other means. Cool. Next thing would be... If I do the manufactured sand... Slag and slag crushed. Probably overthinking this. I'd need gravel to manufacture sand. Oh gosh, it takes three of those to meet one of these from gravel. So if I were to go ahead and manufacture sand, um, this is about what that would look like. Um, let's get you here. Oh, crap. Let's say I just have this manufacturing sand. One, two, three. 
Oops. Cut those and shift them there. You come over here. No. You come there. You come there. All right. So then we just need gravel coming into these. So one, two. That will feed in. That will feed in. That will feed in. Great. Let's cut the excess there. Um, so now we would need gravel. I think I almost want to have that separated. Let's just have one of these. Can you make it up there from here? No. About from there. Yes, okay. Okay, I feel like that is pretty efficient bringing it up that way. So, gravel to manufacture sand, I want you only doing gravel. So, for that, you're going to require rock. And rock is going to come... I guess I'm just going to go like so. And over. So, then the only other thing I'd be worried about then is slag becoming crushed slag. Oh, but gravel can also be used instead of crushed slag. Crap. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do this then. Twenty-four is going to be enough. Yeah, 99 is 18. No, I need two of these. Okay. So, these two. Now I'm starting to get... I think we're getting there. I think we're getting this figured out ratio-wise. Can you connect that way? No. Invalid connection. Oh, I think it's because it's so short. I think it's going to give me that problem again. Yeah, it doesn't like that. There it goes. Now, it does. now it's finally doing what I want it to do. Um, and then we're going to run you over and into this. So I think we can come this way. Just come up. And over here. And I'm going to bring in... Rock. But I also want to bring in um, lag, and I can do that with a U-shaped balancer. So we're going to do that right here. Let's do a U-turn on that. Your priority in is going to be here. Preferably, we're going to use the uh, crush slag. And then we're going to need a storage. Or two or three. And you are going to bring in slag. I think we figured it out. Okay. Okay. Now, what I want to do is we're going to pause all of this, uh, except for you. You can be unpaused. I want you. Um, you can go away. So I think that's going to be a successful concrete production area. Oh, um, one last thing. I need water. 
6, 12, 18, and 24 water. Fortunately, we actually have a source of water over here. It's not incredibly close. Um, I might need to move it, but let's go ahead and get... Uh, where is my water? There it is. A groundwater pump. And... Good, it's just a regular pipe one. I was going to say, we don't need to use a pipe two. Pipe one is just fine. And I will go ahead and bring that back here. And over and down. And from here, down. Oh, interesting. I mean, that's one way to do it. <laughs> one drops down, one just drops immediately into the top of it. Oh, that works, though. That's cool. Um, oh, actually, no, this one doesn't work. I don't know if you saw that, but it was only hooking into the one side. So. There we go. Now it has a connection. So yeah, we'll definitely get that done. Um, let's definitely focus on getting this one finished up. And you and you and you and anything connecting those specifically. And I'm going to go ahead and unpause while that does its thing. Looks like we found another bad guy. We're quickly running out of options. We're going to need to start getting some weapons on our ship and actually start, start fighting back. Let's get you. That could be done... And then I guess this is the only other one that desperately needs to be emptied. I will not hit except assigned only. I want them to go ahead and just offload as quickly as possible. Um, the only thing is I might need to delete a few of those for the trucks to get in here and pull. I'm not sure. Most of the trucks are running through and grabbing everything else. Um, I'm going to prioritize anything that has slag crushed first, followed by anything that has gravel, and I'm going to go ahead and put the manufactured sand version on top. I think that's how I want to go ahead and do these. Um, can I copy that setting to all of those? And there's only one recipe for these, so we'll let that go. Cool. I think that that is a pretty compact setup. I'm pretty happy with myself over that. So now we just need to let it run and do its thing. Oh, and we're going to need to unpause a few of these as well. Because we're going to need our coal coming in. Say what, what if I go ahead and kill that being assigned? Ooh. Yeah, okay. Let's recover those, I guess. I don't know if our trucks are going to be able to get this. No place available to dump products because these are full. That's okay. We are starting to make our way. Um, couldn't store all our vegetables. Couldn't store all our potatoes. 
that's fine. That just means that we have more than enough for our people. That's actually a good thing. Cannot reach destination. Yeah, let's go ahead and review. Since he's lost right now. I'll tell you what, I think I actually need to delete that. Let's give our trucks enough room to get in here and empty this out. Uh, there they go. That's what I needed. Yeah, all of the trucks are moving now. Take a sip of coffee while we see if that takes a little bit of time to empty out. And the nice thing is, all of that dirt is going to help with our ramps. We're still doing fine on our fuel. Let's take a peek at... Hey, electronics seem to be doing pretty well. And there is our truck. Moving electronics a little bit at a time. Fantastic. Yeah, it's actually kind of nice having a dedicated export truck. It's Kind of like having individual little businesses that are just going off and supplying. I feel like having the exporter be the one that has the truck dedicated to it is probably going to be our best bet. Because you see, he just keeps coming back. He loads up when he can. And he'll just go off to each individual location. That works out perfectly. We're getting our science. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this belt, and I want to reverse it again. Same thing with you, we'll reverse you. And same thing with you, we'll reverse that. And let's go ahead and quick deliver a little bit of science there to get that one finished up. And we'll pause you as well. Don't have the power to be fighting with all of this stuff yet, but as we get a little bit more power, this is enough throughput to power all four of those labs. I'm excited to get them all running at once. But for now, the one lab is sufficient, even if we can't ideally run it right now due to power constraints. Um. Hey, there we go. Okay, that's a thing. Um, I'm going to set... Huh, that's a interesting conundrum. Oh, okay. Set this to empty. Let it all pour into this. There we go. And then set you to empty. And now, okay, that's interesting. If you set both of them to empty, it won't move to the next one, and it just got stuck. Um, so now let me set you to... What were we going to make this? This is going to be coal. This is going to be our limestone. That's right. Limestone there. Rock there. Dirt here. Dirt. And this needs to be emptied out. Uh, can we get someone to grab that? Oh, we got our advanced diesel. I was kind of hoping to get to our advanced diesel this episode. Looks like it's going to have to be the next episode. We got a little sidetracked waiting on that and uh, went full out on designing our concrete production. Uh, if we could just get this done. Oh, I don't want to have... You know what? Can I just take those off? There you go. That's better. Okay, but for real, I'd like to get this done. Can I just set, like, priority one just to get one truck over here? Knock that out, move the limestone around. Keep that full. Keep that full. For real, where's our truck? 
<laughs> I really wish I had a unity button to just get this moved right now. Um, I kind of don't want to step away until I've gotten that cleared out. I There's a part of me that feels like it'd be faster to build a belt to run into here to move the one limestone. Wait, that's actually... That's a really dumb solution, but I think that actually would work. Um, what was technically going to be our limestone? This was. So, yeah, let me just... This is dumb, but I'm doing it. And I can't believe I'm doing it. Gosh, does that actually work? Hang on. Remove the product from there. There goes the truck. They're grabbing it all. Stop removal. Holy crap, that worked. <laughs> oh, that's great. Follow me for more Unity life hacks. And then we can set this to keep empty. Alright, we finally figured it out. Oh, let's send our ship off to one more location to explore. And I think that that's where we're going to go ahead and call this episode. Bit of a cleanup episode, bit of a derpy episode, as I made a few mistakes here and there. But, hey, if, you're, if you've been here for a while, you know that this is how things go. Uh, we're clearly into our next episode. Uh, step for the advanced oil processing so I can't wait next episode we're going to go ahead and figure out our distillation uh, stage one stage two for our oil getting into advanced oil processing hopefully making a nice clean machine I hope I can make something that is as clean as this I feel like I feel like this is pretty clean you guys tell me in the comments if you like this um, oh I also have to get this done ha 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 hang on let's not forget this has to be coal and you will not have that one assigned. Limestone. Clear that. Your limestone. Perfect. Yeah, I think we finally got all of that established the way we wanted to. Hey, and our slag is coming in here. We can tell that to keep full. Slag is making its way through. So yeah, we really just need to go ahead and start digging into the mountain, start getting into some of our limestone, and this is going to be all set. Uh, we got some more stuff there, and we've got some extra areas we can explore, so cool. Great way to end the episode. Well guys, if you enjoyed this, make sure you go ahead and smash that sub button. If you haven't already, become a member of the channel. Uh, hit that like button. Likes and comments are the best way to drive content on this platform. It's the best way to bring people to the channel. And I love having more of you here to watch my content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.